Hi all, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see how to build 3D printed paramotor. So uh, you can see here, these are the 3D printed parts for paramotor. So uh, because it's a size, I can't print everything like one shot. So it is split into different parts. So now we need to attach all together uh, to make the paramotor. So let me show you the first part. Like So uh, these are the parts for the uh, front portion. So kind of like a fuselage you can say so it will be like this so you can see here yes, and this will be so this is the part okay this is one part so it, it's something like this and it's like this on top that this one so This is the front portion and then so this is the back portion where the motor mount motor will be mounted so uh, it should be like this so it will be like this so first we need to attach all these things together okay, like this. these are the two parts then do like this like this. so this is the back portion then this will be attached here in the tail portion like this okay be attached like so what i will do i will attach all these parts and put it together so that i can show you the final model so okay so i will do that uh, then so this thing this is the whole thing so this whole thing will be attached to this so this is where the motor will be mounted so i will attach this then i can show you properly and these two things for servos so here, so servos anyhow we'll see later. This is for the controlling the paramotor. Okay, so this two. Okay, so I will attach all these parts and I'll be back. Now parameter body is ready so you can see here so I glued everything together so it will be like this so here the canopy will sit this the body is ready now so now we need to add electronics on it then it will be ready so we can see here I glued all the parts together then finally so motor will come here so there are some holes for motor motor will come here and here servos will come so once servos is installed so we can place the these things these things to control the parafoil so it will be like this yes it will be doing like this okay so now body is ready so now we'll see the electronics 
so now we will see the electronics so for this i am using this uh, tower pro uh, 996r servos so this will give around 10 kg torque i think that will be sufficient for this paramotor to control the parafoil okay so i am using these more servos okay these are mg 996r okay so i am using two see another one here this is of the same one mg 996r so so these are the servos and motor i am using this one okay so this is the race star motor okay 23 br2830 so 1300 kv motor i think this will give enough maybe around 900 to more than a kg it will give thrust i think it will be sufficient if it is not i'll use some other motor and i'm using 30 amps or 40 amps esc so so now uh, about these so here we need to install servo horn okay so glue it yeah, glue it then this will be attached to the servo okay so, so the servo horn will help to you know move this So first what we need to do is we need to place this horn here and here. So for both places we need to place this horn so that we can mount through this hole and this servo. I like this. So now I will install the servos on the paramotor. Okay. So these are the electronics. So now I'll install this. After that, I'll be back. Okay. And one more important thing is like, uh, so to install the motor, uh, see the holes. So these are the similar holes. So I need to install this motor like this. But from here accessing uh, to that mount, it will be difficult. So what I planned is like. If I want to use the same one, I would have mounted here, yeah, but I want to remove this motor once in a while for other projects. You know? So I am not mounting here. So what I will do, I will 3D print one of the adapter for this so that I will place here on top of that. I will mount this motor. So whenever I want, I can take out the motor. Okay. So I will show you that adapter also. I am going to print now. Once it is done, I will install. Meantime. I will install the servos here. So I installed the servos on this, so you can see here I have installed servo uh, this side and you can see this side. Okay. So I installed servos both sides so, and I installed the additional uh, mount. For the motor so that i can install the motor here and i can take it whenever i want so the main uh, intention of adding this extra adapter is so whenever i want to take this motor i can take it out so i 3d printed and i glued here okay yeah 
so servos installed and uh, and you can see here uh, I glued this uh, servo horns on this 3d printed parts okay so both sides both. so these parts will go here so this is the servo horn so you can do it so this portion will control the parafoil so it will move the string so that parafoil will be uh, controlled whether you want to go left and right turns so same way other side also same then I will add a screw here so the, then it will be stayed properly so like this. so now servos part is over so now I will install the motor then uh, we will install the parafoil on this ok so I will install the motor mount, uh, motor now on the mount ok So uh, here you can see I installed the motor here and I also connected to ESC and uh, uh, here you can see I have connected this to parafoil both sides okay so you can see this is one side and uh, this is the another side so just I need to add another string uh, from here to here so that will control the movement of the parafoil okay yeah it's big so what I need to do is just I need to program this in my radio and let's go to the fly so that I will do it later so, so finally it is completed both sides it is connected so first I will do programming for this servo movements then I will go for fly I install the strings on it and uh, and I also program the radio so let me connect the radio and show you okay so you can see uh, for the elevator when it is down these two will go down so okay so then ailerons when it is going left left one will go down when it is going right right one will go down so that it will take right turn so this is for the left and this is for the right and this is for lifting up going up okay so there will be no movement for up okay just only down so I like this so you can do both like this you can take it down and you can try both like this so I will give a try flying and I will be back and you can see throttle So that's the tr throttle. So yeah, that's it. I'll go for a test flight and I'll show you the video. Thank you.